everyone. I'm here with my sensei, Sensei Bradley Grant Smith, hey who is a multiple time world champion in karate and a fifth degree Dan, fifth level black belt. That's so it. this is the man here. <laughs> and we're going to show you a series of exercises that you can do at home without any additional equipment that is going to rock your body and make you feel and look awesome. We've got a variety of exercises that are going to cross multiple planes of the body so that you have a really well balanced workout um, and none of your areas are being neglected or, or you know, overlooked um, so that you can have a toned, structured body um, and feel strong and healthy and athletic at the same time. So rather people will be coming to this at all different levels of fitness. Yeah. So we're suggesting four days a week. Yeah. Um, some people might want to do more, some people Definitely. might want to do a little bit less. So I think, I think you know, four sessions a week is the minimum to create an overload on the body that's going to end up with some kind of change or transformation and adaptation from the load that those routines have been putting on the body. It's important to rest as well and that those muscles can rebuild and regrow, but a minimum of four is, is what you should be doing. It's very important that you all consult with your doctor and your, your healthcare physician to ensure that you aren't undertaking something you shouldn't be. Um, these are just things that I do and love that I want to share with you. Um, but since you probably, in terms of ensuring and protecting against injury, I have never, in five years of working with Cincy Bradley, I've never had a single injury which says a lot, because most people who do regular exercise wind up with injuries left, right, and center sure. all the time. So not a single injury since they Bradley. I think it's super important that you're intuitive with yourself as well. I've always said that you know, you, you'll know you know your body better than anyone else, um, but at the same time you need to challenge yourself. So um, and that's why I use the word intuitive, because you need to feel the exercise, you need to feel the engagement through the muscles, and so as we coach some of the exercises later on, you'll see that we talk about breath, we talk about core engagement, we talk about postural alignment, so if you're monitoring those things yourself the whole time, you'll make sure that, that you're balanced and you're not going to create any injuries. And so here we go, let's get to the exercises. <laughs> 